the World Boxing Super Series Cruiserweight Tournament Volume 2. That's what we're talking about right here on the Double RT Boxing Show. The breakdown and prediction of Ruslan Fair taking on Andrew the Beast Tabidi. Before we get into that prediction, I just want to say thank you to everyone. Again, thank you to everyone. Getting me that much closer to 500 subs. That closer to 1,000. Let's, let's, let's get that 1,000 to right there. Let's get it. Thank you for everyone's time, support, kind words, comments, whether you agree with me, disagree with me, point out the flaws in the show. I appreciate everything. Again, this is your show. I'm just the host, the host of your show, the Double RT Boxing Show. I get, again, I appreciate everyone's support. You know, ready, earn. I appreciate your support. Just, you know, tone it down, tone it down. No new pictures to show you how excited the show makes you, okay? Just tone it down. In five, four, three, two, one. You can hate them for not making that fight happen. But this is an unbiased show. We talk boxing. If it is just some missed details, the Double RT Boxing Show, Mr. A is here to help you because that's what we do. We talk that boxing, spit that fire on the internet, dragging on the net, hashtag dragging on the net. You know, follow me on at Twitter at RRTB Show. Double RT, Double RT, Double RT Boxing Show with Mr. A. All right, thanks for tuning in. Support the show. I give you that thumbs up for your time and support. Hopefully, by the end of this segment, you return the favor. And if you haven't subscribed, you can do that now or later. Whatever you feel is best for your choice. I am not the boss of you. I just kindly ask you that you do it. Now, this is an interesting fight, folks. Interesting fight. I'm first off. I'm very glad that. Andrew Tabidi has entered this because his I'm still waiting to see what he is the cruiserweight is a very quiet division in the states and he is someone who could pump it up for us you know he's on he's he's, he's backed by Mayweather so if he does good in this tournament backed by Mayweather it could bring light to this division a very competitive stacked division it has tremendous athletes and, and boxers in this division you got the sauce man Lawrence Acoli so that'd be a great future fight UK versus the US to BD versus the sauce the beast can you know I don't want to get into I don't want to get into that but it'd be just a great fucking fight now this fight itself Fayfair versus the beast now both these guys are highly ranked across the board. You got Tabidi at number five in the WBC. You got Fair. Oh, it's Fair. I'm sorry for not Fair. I keep calling him Fair. It's Fair. Uh, he's number five in the WBA. And then you got him in the WBO. You got Fair at number nine. But then at the IBF, this is where it gets interesting. This is where the sauce gets thick. You got number two and number three going at it. You got Ruslan Fair at number two and Andrew the Beast Tabidi at number three. So this fight is a hot IBF matchup in the first round. A tremendous match. You know, it's good considering what Usyk and the rumor Bellu does. This guy right out of here, you, you you automatically assume the winner from this tournament probably gets crack at the the winner, but you know one of these guys well really like I said the winner of this tournament is gonna get the crack. But win win or lose, the winner of this fight is gonna be really high in that uh, IBF slot. Now Going to the fighters themselves, the Beast with an 81 knockout ratio, 64 rounds of experience, comes in this tournament undefeated, 16 and 0, 13 KOs, 
age 28, six foot one with 76 and a half reach advantage. That might tremendously help him. He's an orthodox fighter. Against the man, the Russian, I believe, Fayer, Fay, Fayfer. See his name, I know it's, he, his name's spelled all different ways in different, see Boxford has him as Fayfer. Boxing scene has him as Fayer. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with Fayfer, you know. You know, whatever. Or Ruslan, how about that? You know, he's 27 years old, six foot and a half. Can't find his reach. He's also orthodox. You know, he's 23 and 0 with 16 KO. So these guys are coming in with hammers in their gloves. One glove has an iron, one has an iron, a hammer, throwing some steel at each other. They're going to throw some dynamite. Now, breaking these fighters down activity 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 that's gonna be this fight it's gonna be a big part of this fight defensively offensively and leg wise I think leg wise to beauty wins it whether he wants to use his legs to feet and legs whether he wants to use the ring as offensively or defensive um, generalship, I think he gets to. I think he can move around the ring, get himself to a different spot to reset the uh, offense going. You know, reset defense, circle back to the center of the ring. I think he does all of that better with his feet and legs than Ruslan. Ruslan might get a little bit, might get a little bit better leverage on his punches through his legs. But that dies down as the fight goes on. So, legs and feet, because Tabidi gets a pretty good pop in his own. He's not a heavy popper. But feet and legs to the beast. Defensively, for the reasons I just said, the beast. Um, Ruslan's more of a high guard. He, he's pretty loose with the waist, though. I, did, I give him that. He's pretty loose with the waist. He has slip punches and come with a counter. So, he's, he's no slouch. He's, he's good. Offensively, Tabidi's not active enough for me. You know, he, can, he, he can slip punches. He can do all he knows. He's been trained by Mayweather Jr. I mean, um, senior, so he knows how to shoulder roll. He knows how to slip. He's good at countering the uppercut, the the um, the, the pull counter right hand. He's 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 a cruiserweight unpolished Mayweather style body jab all that stuff you know but Ruslan that dude has fast combinations he can work up and down the body slip punches um, hooks it's good I'm gonna say offensively I got Ruslan just for activity activity on offensively I do think Tabidi has a better offense. I just don't think he lets it show enough. But I think in this tournament, he's going to have to come out of that volume show. He's going to have to raise his volume up to be successful in this tournament. Now, for Ruslan to win this fight, he's just he's, he's going to have to keep Tabidi in front of him. He can't allow Tabidi to pop shot him and move. So I would say do his work behind the jab and do what he do good. Work behind the jab, crack hooks to the body, and then bring up the uppercut. Work the jab, hook the body, bring up the uppercut. Ruslan's good at that. For Tabidi, um, use his feet cause Ruslan's gonna be dangerous the first four rounds the dude's gonna come out strong but he gasses out and his punches is why I said it's often it's questionable at the fight go longer his punches become arm punches it's, it starts losing the oomph from his torque in his waist and his legs so if Tabidi could maybe split or split the first four five rounds keep the fight 3-2 two, 2-2 two, two, even a 3-3 three, three going into the second half I favor Tabidi. I think the movement, but he has to land shots. He just can't be moving 
and not letting Ru Ruslan do anything. I mean, uh, fear anything. He he has to make Ruslan respect him. But in, in, in saying so, in saying that, I'm picking Tabidi to win this fight. I think he's going to take this fight into the second half and his movement, pop shooting, is just going to tire Ruslan down. Ruslan likes to lean in as he gets tired, throw his arm shots, his movement slows down, and I think Tabidi's just going to start picking him off, landing that counter uppercut. Um, he's going he's gonna, to um, pull a counter right hand. I think he's going to pick, pick him apart. And I think he's going to knock him out, but he, I, he, I know he was, he's going to knock Ruslan down. And I think he's going to give Ruslan his first loss, yes, by knockout. I say like in round 10, he's going to knock Ruslan out. And Andrew Tabidi will go on to the semifinals of the WBSS Cruiserweights. Round, volume 2. This is the RT Boxing Show. I am your host. Thank you for tuning in again. Thank you for your time and support. And this is my thumbs to you. Follow it on Twitter at the RRTB Show. Follow the show on Twitter at RRTB Show. I'm your host, Mr. A. Hashtag drag it on the net because the show spits that fire shit. Spits those hot breakdowns and predictions. El Fuego, Senor Fuego, El fucking Diablo. Hot shit. <laughs> I know about the El Diablo, but you know it. No motherfucker's hot.